Hey guys, Chris Holder here from Cal Poly Strength Conditioning. Standing next to me is my assistant, Chris White. Chris decided that our athletes, we've got about 550 kids here at Cal Poly and we have all these teams broken up. With his um, track and field team, he wanted to put together a kind of a dynamic warm-up hip flow thing. Chris did an internship a few years ago at P3 in Santa Barbara and he took elements of things that he learned there for his own, from his own training, stuff that we've done together, he and I. Um, and then we started looking at Max Shank's five minute flow work that he has on his Facebook page. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And he put together this mishmash of things that we call the Cal Poly Hip Flow. Um, we're gonna demo this for you guys. It's gonna take about six minutes. So we're gonna cue it like you would calisthenics or something. What you're gonna see is the first Cal Poly Hip Flow, the one we started with, we have since built onto it, but we're gonna show you the very beginning pieces. And we start out with normal hip circles. So Chris is gonna give us three hip circles to his right, and then three hip circles to the left. And then he's gonna get up on his toes and reach, reach, reach for the ceiling. Kind of extend out, kind of lengthen his body a little bit before we get into our main floor series. So from here we go into a downward dog. Three pushes back, one, two, three. Then we're gonna kick the left leg back and reach forward. He's gonna plant his big toe on the ground. He's gonna have his hand on the inside of his knee. He's gonna press out six times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. From here, we're gonna go elbow to the ground and then to the ceiling, trying to rotate that thoracic spine. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And he will go from here into a Cossack, into his right leg, so he'll drop down nice and low, and then come back forward. Back into a Cossack, that's two, three, four, five, and six. And then he will put his left hand on the outside of his knee. He's gonna block that knee and rotate his right hip towards the ground. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then he'll step back into a downward dog. Three pushes back, one, two, and three, right leg kick back and reach forward. Plant the big toe, hand on the inside of the knee, pressing out, ready, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right elbow to the floor and to the ceiling, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now he'll cossack into his left leg, dropping down and back, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. He'll come back through, he'll block that right knee and rotate his left hip towards the ground. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And he'll step back into downward dog for three more pushes. One, two, three. From here, we'll go thoracic bridge to your left side. Reaching, squaring your shoulders up to the wall, reaching for that wall, hips high and nice and high. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, and he'll sweep to his right. Scoring the shoulders up and pointing. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and he'll sweep back through. His feet will go very wide now. We're gonna push back, kind of a downward dog into the hamstring stretch, pushing back three times. Ready, one, two, three. Now we're gonna rotate the left hand to the ceiling, and then the right, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Pushing back three more times deep into the hamstrings. One, two, three, and then he's gonna sweep his left leg through. He's gonna lock his left knee, sweep that back leg back behind him, and pull his big toe up towards his face. Chest to the floor, ready, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then he will switch feet, sweeping through, locking the knee, pulling the big toe to the face, chest to the ground, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then he'll pull out of this, back to downward dog, pressing back three times, one, two, three, he will flip over into a full bridge, Coming back through, we want the hips nice and high, get the shoulders to loosen up a little bit. Ready, one, two, 
three, four, five, and six, and then he'll sweep back through one last time for downward dog, one, two, three. From here he walks up into a full squat. He wants to set his feet up into a really, really solid squat base as if he had a, you know, a bar with 405 on his back, and he's pressing his left elbow out on his left knee. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right elbow, right knee, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and now he's gonna press both elbows out, almost a goblet squat, and he's just gonna bounce around, find those edges where he needs a little grooving, needs to open up a little bit more. We'll hold him here for a couple more seconds, and then we'll have him stand up and shake it out. Now from here, we go into an ankle series, and we really, really love this. Our good friend Andrew Reed came in from Australia last summer. We got to spend a lot of time with him, and many of the takeaways we had with him, this is one of our favorites. So we'll have you face that way. And we're gonna start out with a tuck toed um, foot, foot position. So he's gonna roll it over onto his knees into his toes. He's gonna tuck away almost like a 40 yard dash stance and then he's going to sit. His knees and feet are together and he's gonna sit as comfortably as he can. Now we'll tell you this floor he's on right now is kind of punishing. Grass and all that would be better. But what we have the athletes do is they hold for 60 seconds and for respects to this video, we're not gonna have him hold for a full 60. So we'll say the 60 seconds are done. He rolls forward on his hands, kind of shakes his toes out. Um, we're looking for that stretch he just did to get into the arches of his feet, not just his toes. And then we transition into what we call laces down. So he puts his laces down on the ground, heels are together, feet are together, knees are together, and he sits back for another 60 seconds. Okay? And again, we won't have him hold the full 60, but you understand what we're trying to do. What we will both tell you, and Chris, you can relax now, we have since um, added on to this. So this isn't, not a, this isn't a permanently fixed thing. It is, a, it is a routine that can have pieces added on to it. So for example, we've added a um, sun salutation off of the Cossack. So he'll, he'll quickly drop back into what would have been a Cossack. And now we have hybrid into a sun salutation to continue to open the hip flexors up. Um, we do the RKC hip flexor stretch um, off of uh, when we're doing the, the sweep the leg through stuff. We do a pigeon stretch. We've added to it, and then off the squat series, Chris has added a rotational element where we're sitting nice and deep, he's planting one foot, and he's rotating down and coming back. Um, what we gave you guys for this video is the elementary version, and we wanna encourage you, as with any flow series, feel free to add things that are pertinent to what you're trying to do, um, how to you know, address your issues, but this is our hip flow, this is Cal Poly hip flow. Chris White, Chris Holder, break your muscles.